Hello po. Nandito po tayo ngayon sa National Museum of the U.S. Air Force. It's located in Dayton, Ohio. It's only about uh, 20 miles away from home. So ipakikita ko po sa inyo kung ano ang itsura ng museum dito. Ito pong museum na ito ay malaki at uh, baka mabuti ka ng 2 days bago mo matatapos na makikita ang lahat ng nandito. Ang araw po nito ay Saturday afternoon at uh, can you spend time for at least uh, one hour. Ito po. Yan po ang masiya. Okay po. Malaki po yan. Napakalawak. Ang gandoon. So marami pa naman taong pumapasok kahit na they're built They'll be close around 5 o'clock. Okay. I'll see you inside. This is the entrance. Ito po. Nasa main lobby po tayo. Ito po. Uh, puro airplane ang nandito. So, ang gandong po. Yan po. Pasok po tayo doon. Ito po. Dito po ang uh, Wright Brothers na dito nagumpisa ang mga airplane. It was started on uh, December 17, 1903. Dito po ang nagumpisa nag-fly ng airplane. Ito ang airplane. Yan po, ganyan po ang unang eroplanong pinalipad ng Wright Brothers. Ang Wright Brothers po ay uh, uh, isinilang dito sa Dayton, Ohio. Ito pong home nila. Nagumpisa silang nag-start ng aeroplano noong 1903. Napalipad nila yung aeroplano 1909. Yan po. Yan po ang mga kasuhutan ng mga Wright Brothers noong 1903. Yan, yeah, alos dito po ay mga aeroplano noong 19, oh, 1903 na no, umpisang ginawa ng mga Wright Brothers. Yan po. Malawak po itong lugar na ito. Yung engine ng aeroplano ito. Tignan Unang sasakyan na Ford model. Yan po ang dating sasakyan ng mga military noon. Yan. That's what is nice. Yan po, mga aeroplano pa. From 1903 or 1909. Hindi po misya. Walang misyado mga tao ngayon dahil uh, siyempre ang COVID. Pero okay na rin. At least nakabukas kahit na kukunti lang mga tao. Ayan po.
Pumunta tayo sa kabila. Tignan natin kung anong nasa kabila. Ayan. Maganda naman. mga uniform ng, ng mga Air Force yung mga pilot tsaka dito yan ang mga suot nila nung panahon na yun Let's go inside the tower. Dito po sa ayos sa loob ng tower. More airplane. Inuhulit ko po. Ito po ang pinakamalaking museum ng mga Air Force all over the world. Yes, ito po ang pinakamalaking museum. And a truck.
product. Something. Meron po tayong isang bisita rito na siya po ang may ari nung itong sasak na, na ito. At yan po, tignan po natin siya, magsasalita siya. Okay sir, can you tell me more about yeah. what you just told me? Oh, I'm Colonel Kolak. I'm the, uh, yeah. I discovered this half track in Africa when I was on a tour there. And decided to rescue it and bring it back to the United States so I could put it back into operating condition and save it for history. So I recovered it and uh, sent it back to the state in 2007. Oh, okay. And started working on it. Didn't work on it full time because uh -huh. I had other things. I deployed it uh, to the Balkans, the peacekeeping operations. I spent 33 years in the army. Yeah. So actually, we did the majority of the restoration work in the last year and a half. Uh huh. And uh, the museum invited us to display it here. Oh, okay. So, so we're, we're on loan to the museum. Sure. Loaning it to the museum for their display purposes. So do you guys move this and go? bring it somewhere other we, state we just, or just stay here in dayton right now, no it, it, it moves around oh okay uh, we're just leaving it here right now because it's winter time and i don't want to have it sitting in the shop yes to share it with people uh-huh so that's that's one of the reasons we brought it here oh thank you very much we're yeah we're a non-profit we're an educational non-profit so this is one of the vehicles in our collection we have other vehicles in our collection yes colonel yeah but this is one of them and this is the showpiece yes this is probably the most uh exciting historical piece we have in our collection. So this half track was built right here in Ohio by the, the uh, White Motor Company. Mm -hmm. Diebold Safe. Oh, okay. Made all the armor. BF Goodrich made all the rubber. Yeah, those are interesting things. Yeah. The, uh, rubber wheels wow. and, the, and the track. Uh -huh. So that was all built right here in Ohio. Oh, okay. It was built in 43. Then it was rebuilt in 1952 yeah. and went to Korea. At that time, do you know like how many they have like this or we built 2500 of this variant oh, okay so probably this is the only one who's left for no, now or a few left but this is the only one of the a2s left in the that world. is working it's complete and original this okay two version this uh served in korea then the french took it to indochina which is vietnam oh, okay and from vietnam the french foreign legion took it to africa and that's where i found it got you it that's down it dragged out to the desert left in the desert for 50 years by the time i found it so that's what's good to know that's the condition it was in when i found it okay the it had been removed yeah it was... the interior had been all stripped and gutted wow everything was missing and then you search for, for the stuff right, okay yeah. But this is a preservation project. It's not repainted. It's okay. Relieving. Yeah, it's that's original. the original paint. It's a preservation project. So yes, you sir. Leave, you leave it all original. So, if you don't mind asking you, how long were you in the service then? Uh, 33 years. Oh, wow. A that's... Long time. Thank you for your service, sir. Oh, thank yeah. You. Thank, thank you. you. No, I just, uh, if I hadn't been in the service, I wouldn't have found it. Exactly. <laughs> you know? So. Sometimes good things come out of deployment. Yeah, you probably at that time you've been all over the world. Like you I said, Korea and. Places, yeah, I had been wounded. I was in Afghanistan and I was in Africa. Mm -hmm. and then after that, I was in uh, the Balkans. Okay. Those were my last three tours, combat tours. Wow, that was uh, interesting to know you, sir. And go thank you very much for talking with well, me a little to, bit and uh, you, you let me know that. All right. Yes, well, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Okay. Take care. You take care as well. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Yung po, yung po isang uh, nakilala po natin o oh, nandito po siya yung may may hari ng sasakyan na ito. Yung po, uh, I'm glad na kinuwento niya sa atin kung ano ang nangyari nung paano nila natagpuan itong sasakyan na ito. Okay, meron po isang aeroplano rito. Papasok po tayo rito. Tignan natin ang sa loob. Uh, kung ito po yung mag-i-stop uh, mag ang aking video, kayo na pong bahalang magpasensya. <laughs> Yan po. Sa aeroplane. Sana hindi naman mag-stop ang ating video rito. Napakaganda at interesting na lugar dito para sa mga 
kahit anong uh, edad, mga bata, ganon. Dahil ito ay historic site. Like I said, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base Museum in Ohio. Yan. Nakok ngayon ng airplane yan. U.S. Air Force. Yan po. Nandito pa rin po tayo dito sa museum. Uh, I will end this now for now dahil misyadong mahaba na po. So, yung po nga uh, part to uh, nandito pa sana ay panoorin niyo rin yon at kung hindi pa po kayo naka-subscribe sa aking uh, please follow the directional signs located throughout the museum signs are posted indicating lines for the Air Force Museum Theater and Museum Store please maintain the proper social distancing of at least 6 feet while in line yan po those visiting the Valkyrie Cafe should use the main staircase or elevator near the entrance doors. Museum exit doors are located in the museum eight. Yan po, kung hindi pa po kayo nakasubscribe sa channel ko, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, uh, pakishare na rin po para sa ganun ay maraming makakakita. So salamat po, hanggang dito na lang po itong video nito. At uh, please uh, 